Hello everyone and welcome to the 10th part of this crash course series in which we are discussing expected questions for net environmental science examination. So in this lesson we will discuss about the environmental chemistry chapter. Those who are new make sure you have subscribed and hit the bell icon to get further updates. Let's begin the lesson. The first question is the heat is distributed through a vertical mixing process called as what? So here the correct option will be option number B. Yes, convection is the process in which the hot air rises up as you can see in this picture and the cold air comes down. So this is the process how the heat is distributed. The next question is in the context of argentometric titration of chloride ions in a water sample identify which of the statement is incorrect. The titrant is a silver nitrate solution it is correct. Indicator is a potassium chromate, so potassium chromate is the indicator that is also correct. End point that is where all the elements, all the ions are neutralized, it is lemon yellow color, it is also correct. But this option is not correct. So according to this question, the incorrect statement is option number D. Yes, the pH of water sample in the argentometric titration of chloride ion should be greater than 5. Moving on to the next question. The next question is, the reaction of hydroxyl radicals with which of the following species generates the hydrogen atom and here the correct option will be option number C yes when carbon monoxide reacts with the OH radical that is hydroxyl radical it gives rise to hydrogen atom and CO2 let's move to the next question the next question is which of the following is true for an ideal dilute solution so read every options correctly and here the correct option will be option number D. Yes, in an ideal dilute solution the solute obeys Henry's law and the solvent obeys Raoult's law. If you want to know more about environmental chemistry then you can click on the link given in the description and go to the playlist. Moving on to the next question. The next question is with increase in temperature the specific conductivity of water shows what kind of change. So here the specific conductivity means how much the compound or the solution is able to conduct the electricity. So here the correct option will be option number B. Yes, as the temperature rises the specific conductivity increases. So which is the reciprocal of resistivity. Moving on to the next question. The next question is Coagulation is a chemical process in which the charged particles or colloids undergo which of the following reactions? So among the four options, the correct option will be option number B. These colloids or the charged particles, they go destabilization, they are destabilized. That's why the coagulation is formed. The next question is gasification the technique of gasification is the conversion of which of the following so it has been asked several times in net examination and here the correct option will be option number b yes gasification is the technique in which solid carbonaceous fuel are converted into flammable gas at high temperature of about 750 to 850 degrees Celsius. Time for the next question. The next question is the natural source for PAH that is polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons are which of the following? So here the correct option will be option number B. Yes as the grass burnt due to the grass fires the PAHs are released in the atmosphere. Moving on to the next question. The next question is the hardness of diamond is due to which of the following reason? The correct answer will be option number B. Yes, the covalent bonding that is the bonding due to the sharing of electrons is the reason why the hardness of diamond is so hard. So diamond which is the allotrope of carbon you should all remember let's move to the next question the next question says 
the pe values in water range from approximately so here i must say the correct answer will be option number d yes the p value that is the redox potential also known as reduction or oxidation potential is the tendency to lose or acquire electrons to an electrode so the range varies from minus 12 to 25 in which the elements are reduced or oxidized so that's all in this part of this video stay tuned for further updates if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel all the best to everyone